and welcome back. Today, you can see we're not in our garage today. We're actually in my kitchen here. Where we're going to review a little product here. I haven't done a computer product in a long time, so I thought today would be a good time to talk about one of the tools that I use when I diagnose computers here. Now, this one here is a power supply tester you can pick up off Amazon for about 14 bucks. And what this does is it tests power supply. And you can see over here, I have a power supply that I had just recently replaced from a customer's computer. And this made the job a lot easier. I was able to find out the problem because what it was doing was either it would run for a little bit, it would shut off, wouldn't turn on. You know, there's a whole lot of things that can cause that. You know, you got either some bad RAM maybe, um, or a power supply is starting to go bad. And I plugged this up and you'll see here soon enough, I'll try to get a zoom in photo here for you guys. But you guys will see this thing is really good. So I recommend if you want to, if you're kind of a jack of all trades or just trying to get into computers or doing something, definitely invest in one of these. 14 bucks, Amazon. I'll put a link down in the description where you can find one. Worth every penny. If you plan on diagnosing your computers and saving it from going to the Geek Squad, either at Best Buy or Fry's, you know. So let's plug this thing in and see how it comes out. <laughs> Okay, we got our power supply tester all hooked up. I'll back it out just a little bit so you can see all the cords are all hooked in. Now, this thing is, you can, as you can see, it says easy to read power voltage, which it is. Now, you see where all it says 3.3, uh, that's good. We got 5.1 here, which is good. As you can see here, we're supposed to have, what is that, positive 12, and we got 11.7, 11.9 and 11.9 obviously this power supply is not putting out the sufficient amount of power it takes to run the computer so this lets me know that the power supply is officially worn out and just needs to be replaced now this technically will still probably run the computer but as, over time it will start um you know shutting off or not coming on so when you have a power supply that's reading a little bit below it's time to replace it so this right here just made me kind of, you know, made a, a, made this a real simple job here. I was able to find out in 10 minutes what the problem was. I didn't even tear the whole computer apart. All right. All right, guys, there you go. That test was just that simple. We was able to diagnose this power supply within seconds to know that it is just not efficiently working as it should be. Now, a normal power supply will probably read about 12.1, uh, 12.2, and the 12, you know, in here. And that's usually a good power supply. It means it, it's good. Now, this one is just a little too weak to keep going, so we've already, I've already replaced it with a newer one. And the computer has worked fine. They've had no problems since then, so I definitely know that this was the problem, and this little tool just came right in handy. So if you're going to work on your own computers or do anything like that, definitely invest in one of these. It will come in handy. And um, plus also if you're building a budget computer and you're, you know, like me, I would be buying components once a month or whatever. This is a good way to test your, comp uh, your power supply before you even put it on your computer to make sure that it's not dead on arrival. I've had that happen once when I was building my computer, my power supply was dead on arrival and I spent a week trying to um, diagnose it thinking I had did something wrong and I ended up buying this and within 10 minutes of me <laughs> getting it in the mail I was able to hook it up and found out it was a bad power supply and I was able to return it you know because uh, computer parts usually have a good few year warranty before um, you don't have a warranty anymore so definitely if you're building a budget computer and you need to make sure it works before you put it on the computer buy one of these it'll definitely work for you but guys, I've used this quite a bit. I've built three computers, mine, my brother's, and my wife's. And like I said, the only power supply I had dead on arrival was the one that I got for my computer. But I've always tested this and everything has checked out good. So it has saved me some time and some frustration level of getting seriously mad over this. So definitely worth the 14 bucks. I'll put a, like I said, I'll put a link down in the description down to the Amazon one. They've got newer models than this. I mean, this is an older model. This is like probably about, I've had this for about at least three or four years, maybe five. 
and it has worked good. It works with all the modern connections. Back thing it's got SATA, you know, your Molex, your 24 pin connector, and all that. It's, so it has all the modern connections that I, a normal power supply has that you can test it with. So it definitely is good now. They got newer models, so if you want to get a newer one, they're about the same price or maybe a few bucks cheaper, depending on the quality, it, that kind of thing. It's up to you, but this is what I use, and I have nothing bad to say about it. It's a, um, you know, it's made in China, of course, but it, it does work and does, does do the job, and it's cost effective. So, guys, if you're look, looking into getting computers or trying to get started working on computers, get this tool. You're going to need it. You don't really need too many specialized tools, and this is really like really the only thing you can really get or need if you're working on computers to diagnose it. And the rest is just kind of troubleshooting. Which, if you'd like to see future videos on troubleshooting computer parts or computer, you know, little things like that, let me know down in the comments, or I'll answer the poll question. I'll have a poll question up there for about computers if you'd like to see some more. Yeah, then. Sorry for if it, this video was not up to your liking today. We um, things are a little bit dead around here. We're waiting on things to happen. <laughs> I'm kind of keeping on the hush hush. So if you want to know what's going on around here lately. You need to stay tuned to this channel because we could have something exciting happen here pretty soon. So, if you want to know, you're going to have to stick around and subscribe to the channel. So, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, you know, hit that big red subscribe button. If you got no idea what I'm talking about, go check out our previous videos. We do a lot of cool stuff on this channel. We do dusters, gold wings, harbor freight tool reviews, or even that, even computers. You know, we get we dabble in the computer section. So, we do a little bit of everything on this channel and. I usually take some time to take requests, so if you guys ever have any requests or, you know, I try to get to them or try to do them, you know, leave them down in the comments, or, you know, or let me know and I'll see what I can do. I do my best to try to get to, try to do all of them. Some of them I can, some of them I can't. It just, but I will do my best to do what I can for you guys. All right, guys, if you, if you got any questions or anything, feel free to email me. With that said, I will see you guys next time and stay safe out there.